We've adjusted during these trying times. For now, virtual learning is the new norm for students. Many families don't have access to the technology to support their children's education. In NYC, some brave women have stepped up to get a movement started. Joining me is Tanisha Grant. She's the founder of Parents Supporting Parents in NY. Uh, thank you for being here, Tanisha. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing thank well. Thank you for having me. Of mm -hmm. course. So tell us about the laptop initiative that you started. Well, um, the backstory is in July, um, I was one of the organizers, PSPNY was one of the organizers for um, Greg Gardner's um, <clears throat> anniversary uh, memorial and um, in partnership with um, Greg, um, I'm Greg, Eric Gardner Foundation. Um, headed by um, Jewel, um, we brought laptops for the kids. We brought like three laptops and to see the way the kids looked, it was just amazing. And how they felt to get their own technology was amazing. So um, I've been working with the DOE for a long time or working as a parent ad advocate for a long time, you know, trying to get uh, money for our schools and um, the proper tools that our kids need to learn. And I was just tired of talking about it. Everybody talks about it, I feel, and nobody does nothing. So I decided that I was going to do something. And I talked to Pam about it. And we thought that it was a good idea to start a fundraiser and take those funds and um, put it back in our community by putting laptops into Black and Brown children's hands. Nice. So how exactly does it work if someone wants to get involved? How can they get involved? Um, your only requirement is that you don't have a laptop. Um, we have a list. Once we clear our list, um, people that are on the waiting list will go and we'll keep this thing going. Even though it's based in um, Central Harlem, we also give laptops to children um, in the Bronx in Brooklyn. Um, at our next um, laptop giveaway, we're going to give one to um, someone in Queens. So even though we are based in Harlem, in Central Harlem, we spoke out for all of our communities because we understand that all of them are hurting and that our children are hurting. And this is just one thing that we do to, um, you know, relieve some stress for the children and for their parents and their families. Amazing. So why was it important for you to do this? Well, I have a 13-year-old son, and my 13-year-old son had DOE-issued iPad. And when school started, he went on it and couldn't do anything on it. And it just made me upset. It was just like the final drawer. Like, I'm going to show them what they're supposed to be doing and not get paid for it because I'm still confused as to why these people get paid so much money, so much tax dollar money, and they're not doing nothing. So I said, me as a mother, as a black woman, you know, as an activist, as a public speaker, as an organizer, we're going to get together, me and Pam, along with Parents Supporting Parents New York and Moms United for Black Lives, who are mostly white women, suburban women, who understand how to use their white privilege to give back to black and brown lives because they understand the damage that has been done. The thing that I hear most when I give my babies, because they're all my babies, when I give my babies their laptops is I get to keep it. Some of the kids think that they'll have to give it back to the DOE and we have to explain to them that this is from the community. We love you. And there's a lot of people in the community like me that's doing work in the community and nobody never talks about us. All you see is gun violence or black on black crime. And that's just a false narrative. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for this information. And if you're at home and you're interested in getting involved, make sure that you find Parents Supporting Parents NY on Twitter to find out how you can help a child get a laptop uh, in time for the holidays and, you know, for all that virtual learning that we have going on. Thanks, Tanisha. Thank you, Oni.